Hey guys, welcome to CMake episode 11. I'm going to talk about doing your libraries with Visual Studio Code and doing libraries with VC Package Manager. We've already seen how to do libraries through submoduling. We've seen how to manually add them. Uh, let me know if those aren't clear, but you should be able to do that when you do the whole VC Package integrate install. Uh, it tells you to do this. What I have to do is set the CMake prefix path. Package CMake is supposed to set these prefix paths, I believe, but for some reason it doesn't, and it doesn't seem to do that ever. So maybe that's something that needs fixed. Hey, future editor Matt here. Um, just want to say that this tool chain thing actually works now. So like, pull this over. So yeah, I commented out the prefix, right? And I put this tool chain back in. I completely deleted my build and let it retry everything and it actually works so i don't know why this i have tried this tool chain thing like so many times in the past like within the last couple weeks and this is the first time it's ever worked so i don't know what changed i did just update vc package manager so maybe they finally fixed this awesome if so let me know down below if you guys get this tool chain to work for adding libraries because it should be just this simple you just have to have this tool chain set and then you can find and link just in case this doesn't work you can always do this set prefix path to it manually all right well going back to editing uh, you just do the find package now this is pretty standard here when you do install the library it tells you to do this so for example um, install whatever FMT. I'm using FMT because someone uh, left a comment about they couldn't get it to work. I didn't have any problems uh, once I did this prefix path, but the tool chain did absolutely nothing. So then you just do it, tells you what to do once you install it. So very good. Just make sure you get the right version, of course, and all that stuff. So, of course, you can do like this is the 32 bit one here. Uh, but if we're building 64, you gotta make sure you have either have your triplet file set to it, or uh, you do it this way. Already installed. So as we'll see here, this actually works. And I've got a, just a little sample project here, uh, just to make sure the library actually works. Extensions I'm using, uh, just the two Microsoft ones, C and C++, CMake tools. I'm just gonna go through basically how I set up this quick little uh, workflow in Visual Studio. So those are the add-ons that are uh, taking over some things here and doing this auto CMake thing anytime you save. So very, very straightforward project set up here. Just a root level CMake list.txt, new version, project called demo, executable with the project name, link uh, the libraries, and uh, you can link whatever libraries you want, of course. And I guess you have to set a prefix path for each of them until they get this whole issue resolved with this toolchain file. And now, of course, you know, you don't necessarily have to have this set here. This is just setting a variable in, in case you're not real sure of that. Um, you can set these as you run your, uh, your CMake commands, too. So you don't necessarily have to do this right here. You could have it as your root level CMake call. Uh, right here, kind of like how it tells you to. All right, well, in the main here, just included the format and did a print and had a print before. So I guess we could should probably go ahead and run it, but I just want to show you how I have the run set up. So rather than having to type the whole CMake command every time, I just made some little batch files and I made one called rescan that uh, just basically rescans the CMake stuff and put stuff in the build directory. And I made a build that runs MS build. We talked about MS build in the last episode, so if you're completely not sure how to do that, uh, that's where it is. If you're using a different compiler, that's fine. You might be using MingGW or whatever. You just gotta, you know, you're doing it a different way. You might have to build the libraries with MingGW, so you won't be able to use VC Package Manager basically. All right, so with MS build, you build the solution. Of course, you can open the solution with Visual Studio and build it there too, but this is essentially the same thing. So you could edit these batch files and kind of get them set up for how you want to do it. And I have an all that just goes through all, rescan, build, run. 
So if I just do, uh, it should go through everything. I should run it and it's doing it, saying your bro code is this number code. We're using the, the format print. So we know that it's linked and all that. And we know that we're getting to the headers. That's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want to see any other ways of doing it. So hopefully you can see how to expand from here. You could just basically keep going with this and add in whatever libraries you want. Just copy pasta and keep going and have whatever you need ready. All right, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this uh, makes sense and you're able to get your library set up with VC Package Manager and Visual Studio Code. All right, see you in the next one. Peace out.